Eight transitions, 300 seconds. Let's do it. Number one, whip in any direction. So you're gonna take your camera. You're gonna wanna make sure you're on a low frame rate and have a little bit of motion blur. You can do that by setting the 180 shutter rule. If your shutter speed is 24, you're gonna want your frame rate at 50. To end the clip, you're gonna take your camera, you're gonna whip it out in one direction, and to start the next clip, you're gonna whip it in the same direction. You can do this left, right, up, down, works any single way, and it makes a smooth transition. Number two, the shake. What you're gonna wanna do is right before you end the clip, you're just gonna wanna shake your camera really crazy so it looks like there's an earthquake going on. To introduce the new clip, you're gonna do the exact same thing, shake the camera, and then start the new clip. Mini tip, make sure you practice this a couple times before you record it. Usually, once I shake the camera, I'm not ready to get into the other clip, so you gotta know exactly what you're shooting. The next one I like to call an action cut so let's say you are shooting your feet and you take a step on the next clip do the exact same shot somewhere else and cut in that action when the foot is in the exact same position this will make the transition really smooth if you were to cut it at a different area where your feet are not exactly going in the same direction it's going to be a little wonky and you're just not going to understand what's going on the speed ramp i love this one it works super well and is uh, popular in travel films right at the end of the clip use the speed ramp technique check out this video if you don't know how to do it and just speed up the clip and then on the next one you're going to want to start it really fast and slow down the clip it's going to create a really seamless look because it's going to speed up and then it's going to slow down into the next clip making that cut seamless the manual zoom transition most people use digital zoom transitions from after effects but this one you can do manual you're going to want to make sure you have a zoom lens and right before the end of the clip you're just going to zoom in that lens and then right before you start the next clip you're going to zoom in that lens think of it it's going to start wide angle zoom and then you're going to cut during the zoom with the motion blur and then the next clip is going to be a tight shot a frame cover this works super well for any sort of clip you can do it as simple as covering the camera and then opening the camera again and that's going to be a new scene or you can do something a little more creative like panning the camera up to the sky and then matching it with another blue sky somewhere else and panning the camera down so it looks like you go up to the sky blue sky you hide the cut in there and then you bring the camera back down to your next scene a match cut or a match movement cut is pretty much when someone is making a movement or is in a position and you're going to make the exact same cut. So let's say you're shooting from behind someone who is walking. Then you cut to another scene of the exact same thing but walking in a different location and a different person. This will create a very seamless look because you already are, you don't really have to change and analyze the new scene because it's in the exact same position. It's just a different location and a different person. And get creative with it. Don't be scared to do a match movement cut on a jump, someone jumping, someone skateboarding, someone running across the scene from right to left. Finally, the last tip I'll give you is make sure that everything is going in the similar motion. So let's say you start with a whip transition to the right. You're gonna to wanna to keep your whip transitions going to the right. It'll be very natural for the viewer to make sure that all the movement is going to the right. Cause then if you just have a random clip of someone running to the left, you're gonna be like, that's not supposed to be there. So if you wanna to transition to the left, I would say transition a kind of half downward whip and then down to a straight down whip and then to a left whip and then back towards the left. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something in this video. This was a very highly requested video. If you want me to get more in depth with any single one of the transitions, let me know in the comment section below. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, new videos every single week. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every single time I drop a new video. Creators, keep creating. See you guys in the next one. Peace.